MP on the track. So I'm just getting back to town and it's after hours, but it has come to my attention that there's a tree that is leaning quite a bit towards the building that we're working on. Mr. Sherrod has convinced me to let him cut this tree uh, along with cleaning off our fence. So I've agreed to let him do that. We've uh, noticed that it's raining tonight and this area of erosion on the east side of the property is uh, really standing out to me tonight for some reason. It's certainly something that's going to bear watching. All right, guys, it's Liam, and it's been a few weeks since I've had a chance to update uh, the progress here at the property. Uh, it's been a bumpy few weeks. Uh, one of the big problems that we've had uh, over these last few weeks is that someone has actually driven through the entry gate to the property. Uh, we have some surveillance video of that. Uh, we actually um, were able to identify the resident that this person was visiting and we're ultimately going to end up tacking on the replacement costs of this gate to that resident. We're gonna pass the cost of that on to her. Um, we, we've we got a relationship with her. She's a, a resident here. She's uh, under a contract with the lease. Uh, and the lease specifically states that uh, the residents are, uh, the residents or their visitors are clearly responsible for any uh, damages to the premises and uh, what we see on the surveillance video was certainly qualified by anyone's definition, I would say, of uh, damages to the premises. And so uh, that's something that uh, I don't expect her to pay. As a matter of fact, I, I, what I fully expect is once she gets the bill, she's probably going to skip out and I'll probably never hear from her again. Uh, but on the back end of that, we will end up turning this over to collections and you know, we, I, I'm not sure how our percentages are. Um, you know, we do occasionally get checks from wages that have been garnished. Um, uh, to be quite frank, I haven't been keeping a good accounting of that, uh, but that's certainly something that uh, we need to take a, take a more keen interest in uh, uh, in analyzing the financials here at the property. Um, but with the way this gate looks, it's probably going to be beyond repair. I think we're going to be looking at a replacement here. Uh, there is one segment of the gate that remains straight. Uh, I kind of thought about maybe trying to preserve that segment of the gate and use it to construct the new gate because, quite frankly, this is probably going to happen again. This is about the third time that I've had someone drive through either the entry gate or the exit gate since I've, since I've been here at this property. So, I, you know, with that in mind, I am a strong proponent of simply fixing these uh, gates. So uh, I think that's the way to go uh, to save money in the long run. So it looks like we got some contractors coming here. Let me move out of the way. See who we got here. Okay, okay. The tree and crane service guys are back. Okay, okay. I think you guys may have caught a glimpse of the tree trimming crew that I've hired to come in and take down a tree that's been leaning towards the building that we're working on. Uh, these are guys have actually come out and cleaned off the fence row as well. Uh, we'll highlight that a little bit in today's video as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started.
looks like the rest of the tree trimming crew is arriving so perhaps we'll get a little bit of footage of these guys taking down this tree today we'll see one of the things that we've also had done over these last few weeks is cleanup of this hillside opposite the office uh, what you're looking at behind me is just inside the entry gate and to the left directly across the parking lot from the uh, mailbox side of the leasing office. These guys took a little bobcat machine and cleaned that hill off so maybe we can start to get it weed uh with the grass cutting uh, that we like to do on the first and 15th of the month. Try to keep that from getting out of hand. It's got that kudzu vine that grows. That stuff grows like crazy and it grows wild. Um, it has its pluses and its minuses. It can be pretty messy across the parking lot if you don't keep it contained. But I like it because it is a great natural barrier for a fence. No one is going to want to crawl through and climb through all of those kudzu vines in order to try to get across the fence. So I don't want to uh, take it away completely. One of the things that has become more prominent as we've had this fence line cleaned off is this damage to my fence here. Uh, I'm convinced that this fence was hit by the driver of the garbage truck, but unfortunately I don't have any surveillance video of that, uh, but no one is going to convince me otherwise. Uh, it took a pretty good lick. They bent it on the way in, and then as they backed out, they just bent it again. So this segment of this uh, metal or iron rod fence is going to have to be replaced. So perhaps we can get a bit of a discount with that along with the gate work that we need to have done also. So I'm sure you guys can see this. We've got some happenings here at the property. We've got the tree cutting crew here. And it looks like they're getting ready to go ahead and remove this tree today. They were unable to complete that last week because of all the wind. Uh, it's kind of hard to miss the tree that they will be removing. It's the one that looks like it's leaning over towards the building there. Uh, it looks like it's the closest and biggest uh, uh, and most leaning tree uh, in the frame. Uh, also, looks like uh, my man Juan and his crew are, are here getting things completed on the inside. So I'm interested to see what kind of progress they've made and see where we are with everything. All right, so it looks like my man Juan has his... Um, table saw set up here getting what looks like some of the base border cut today so so as we take a look a around inside we can see that in this like. particular unit the uh, flooring the uh, has been started uh, looks, like looks like the wood, the laminate wood flooring is going right in. Now, looks like the so tile near the doorway and in the uh, bathrooms are pretty much done in this unit. In the meantime, uh, we typically we'll just like to go ahead and put one and unit completely together to start. So one of the problems we've run into is this tree right here is leaning towards my apartment building and I've decided to hire a trucking crew or tree trimming tr crew to come on in and take this tree down. So that's what these guys are going to be working on today. By 4 p.m. they tell me that this tree will no longer be there.
LP on the track.